we sometimes go looking for useful trash on industry sites. And on this particular trip, we found this really cool frame behind an old factory. So I asked you if I should take it home, and most of you told me to, so I did. With permission of the owner, of course. He told us this frame used to be the base from an old desk they'd thrown out a while back. So I cut it in half, and we took it home without knowing what to do with it. Now once home, our cat had yet again demolished our little attempt at a herb garden. If only we had a raised garden bed so the herbs are safe and off the ground. Hmm. So first step is cleaning up the frame. I'm not too worried about the rusty spots and I actually kind of like the color it has. But the sharp edges and brackets sticking out, they need to go. So I'm cutting those off and rounding over the edges with an angle grinder. Now I also took home the wooden pallet and a pallet wall from the factory's trash to use for this project. I started by cutting these hinges off so I'm left with these long wooden boards. And I'll use these for the bottom of the garden bed. Marking and cutting the leftover pieces to fit the frame. I started disassembling the wooden pallet, but was really struggling with pulling out all these long nails and trying not to damage the wood. I want to use these boards to make the shelves underneath the garden bed. Luckily, the length I need falls just short between the staples of the pallet, so I just took my circular saw and ripped through it. I am trying to get as much of usable wood out of this pallet as possible, so I took all the boards and even went back to remove the nails from the stretchers. This was much easier not having to worry about damaging the wood. And in case you're wondering, one pallet contains about this many nails. Now I'm using the pallet stretchers as a base for the bottom shelf. But first I need to cut them to length and make some notches so they'll sit flush to the frame. With the support screwed into the frame, I'm laying the wooden boards out and screwing those into the supports. Also screwing down the bottom of the garden bed from the underside. To make the walls of the box, I'm using the leftover pieces of pallet wood and puzzling them into place, marking and cutting them to size for a snug fit. I'm doing this on all four sides. Now some of the pallet boards were not really usable due to rough edges or cracks and since I only have one pallet I had to be smart about how to use my pieces. I'm using another leftover piece as a support for the front and back faces of the box, screwing it in from all sides. Now it might be important to note, I actually left this kind of trench down the middle of the box, so the water can exit through this hole on the side, so when it rains the plants won't drown. Now with some final sanding, I'm done with the basic structure. I'm lining the inside of the box with a semi-permissive root cloth and using a stapler to keep it in place. Again, accentuating the drainage down the middle. Now a quick test to see if it works. Ah, perfect. Now time to fill this bad boy up. To 
adding some herbs. Now I don't know why, but there's something quite relaxing about gardening and getting your hands dirty. Quite literally. We got all the herbs. Basil, cilantro, some kind of sweet pepper, parsley, thyme, dill and chives. Now to go back, this is what we started with. A rusty bunch of trash. And this is our new raised herb garden. I think I spent just under 10 euros in total and that's just for the soil, the root cloth and the nice new bucket to put under the drainage. And hopefully our herbs will grow nice and big so we can enjoy our home cooked dinners even more. Like and subscribe if you want to see more random projects and thank you so much for watching The Spare Time Shop.